Welcome to the tutorial series for Steel Ray Delay Analyzer. You have shown a great deal of wisdom watching these videos because it's going to save you a lot of time as you use the application. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to click on the only button that I can click on in this initial screen, and that's this Open button. And this pulls up the Open Dataset dialog. And I can see projects that I have loaded before, project being a set of schedules that I want to analyze. Once you analyze it, it creates the data set and puts it in this list. To delete projects or data sets, you just click on it and you click the trash can. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then the other thing you should know about data sets is you can rename them right here. Uh, and Type as whatever you type, you're going to see it just show up right here. Okay, so uh, that's basically how you maintain your data sets. But how do we create one? Well, we click this new data set. Now we have two options. We can click Browse for Files or Browse for Folder. So I'll start with Browse for Folder. In this case, you want to have all of your XERs from the same project, maybe a baseline and updates, and only that project inside of a folder. And then all you have to do is pick that folder and your XER files will show up here. Now I'm not going to do that because I'm going to do the other method. But the nice thing about this Browse for Folder method is that later when you add updates, you know, more XERs to that folder, they'll show up automatically here and you can analyze them. Now the browse for file is just like it sounds. You can pick one or more files. In this case, I'm just going to pick one and click the open dialog. And I go ahead and do that. And now I can see that this single XER had multiple schedules exported. And as I look at the data date, which is this column right here, I can see that there was a baseline, August 1st, and then every month another update. And so that's all there is to it. You just check and uncheck the periods that you want to analyze. I'm going to leave them all checked. And you click the Analyze button, and it does its thing and takes you to the overview report, which I'm going to cover in the next video. So thanks for watching.